Alrighty, so what we are going to do today is we are going to do a versus video between the M12 Milwaukee Stubby versus the M18 Milwaukee Stubby. And we're in this video, we're going to see if one is worth purchasing over the other. Now, the M12 Stubby has been out for a few years already, and the M18 Stubby is brand new. So what we're going to find out in this video is if this one is even worth buying, since this one's already out. Yes, with the M18, you get duration, but look at the difference in size, you know, and so if this is more compact and the point of the stubby is to be compact. So that's what we're going to do in this video. We're going to see if the M18 is worth buying, if there is a huge difference in power between these two. Now, when it comes to duration, that all depends on how many batteries you have. And a lot of people that have the M12 system, I'm pretty sure they have a lot of batteries. So... Let's look over the specs really quick and get to it. All right, so the M18 Stubby, this thing is brand new. Uh, we will be using a six amp hour battery high output. Battery is full. Now I did live stream this already. Uh, and so we found out that both of these tools require a high amp hour battery to do the tasks that I'm about to have them to do because both batteries pretty much died during the actual test. So I did get a six amp hour battery for uh, I do have a six amp hour battery for the M12. And so, yeah, so this thing is awesome. It has a tri LED beam on the front. And this is model number 2855-20. It has four speed settings. It has speed one, two, three, and auto. And then this just gives the specs for uh, the highest, uh, highest uh, speed. This goes to zero to 3,500 impacts per minute and zero to 2,400 RPM. And so, yeah, so it, it is an awesome tool. I got a half inch anvil with a friction ring on there. And so, yeah, so that is a tool. Like I said, we will be using a six amp hour high output battery because the tests I'm about to give this require this battery. All right, so for the M12, this is an awesome mamma jamma. I love this tool. I'm glad I got the six amp hour uh, battery for it, XC battery. And so this is a half inch anvil with a detents pin. This is model number 255P-20, and this uh, the same thing, it go, has four speed settings, one, two, three, and auto, and this only gives the specs for the highest speed, which this is zero to 2700 RPM and zero to 3200 impacts per minute, which is approximately 300 impacts per minute less, and it is 300 uh, RPM more than the M18. Which that's actually interesting and so one thing i do got to do i do got to take off the light one more time because as you can see the light does not work and so yeah i will be uploading a video of that uh in the next couple days of actually fixing this i did take this apart live for tool teardown tuesday and so yeah so uh subscribe to the channel for that tool teardown tuesday will happen every tuesday it's what we're going to do is we're going to take tools apart and see on how the uh how well they are and then, yeah, I put them back together and make sure that they work. So, alrighty, but that is the specs between these two. So let's uh, let's get to it. Alrighty, so first we're gonna test out four inch by half inch lags. Let's see which one is able to drive it in fastest. 12 versus 18, which I know that's a little, a little crazy, but I seriously wanna help you guys out and d d help you determine if you need the M12 or the M18 when it comes to this, when it comes to an impact wrench, because these are normally expensive. So these two cost about the, almost the same. The M12 is roughly about $20 less, but I got a deal where it comes with a free battery. That deal might be happening, I'm not sure. But let's uh, use the M12 first and uh, see what happens. Here's good, no pre-drill, no nothing. We got it on speed three. All right, so ready, go.
Sorry if this uh, sorry if the sound cut out for the M12 taking its four inch lag out, but the time is there. All right, so let's do the M18s. Ready? Go. Time. That tri LED beam is awesome. Majorly the work area. All right, so next let's do the six inch lag. Do it right here. Battery still full on the M12. All right, so speed three. All right, so ready? Go. it out a little bit time like i said my led beam my led light does not work i still gotta fix that i have to upload a video of fixing that soon Alrighty, so it is the m18's turn let's see what the m18 can do right next to it is good right here all right so ready go That's, yep, that's it. Time. It did it. Somebody needs to take its out. All right, so ready? Go. Time. Not bad for a 12 volt tool. Not bad at all. All right, so let's the M18 take its out. All right, so ready? Go. Time, time, time. All right, so then we only got two more lags each. Next, we're gonna upgrade the 10 inch. Yep, right here is good. I will do it right here. All right, so ready, go. time battery life is at two bar it might go back to the three bars i'm like for a 12 volt tool driving in a 12 inch uh 10 inch lag that's absolutely insane all right so for the last lag uh it is for the m18 for the 10 inch we're gonna do it right next to it let's see what this can do now this is a very good stress test on the motor because you see how much work and effort it takes for it to drive these in and it, oh, this is a good test to see if the motor could take this 
that much stress without stopping. All right, so ready? Go. It did it. The battery life on the M18 is still at full bars. And the battery life on the M12 is at three bars. So it's not bad. Not bad at all for a 12 volt tool. Let's get the temperature reader. I didn't put a brand new battery in there. I gotta clean that out. All right, so let's take uh, this out and see on how well it does. All right, so ready? Go. Not too shabby and the final battery life is at two bars that might go up one more maybe but the final temperature for this is it's 101 101 97 all right uh, 105 degrees 105 degrees not too shabby all right let's let the m18 take it's out all right, so ready, go. Time. Not too shabby at all. And the final uh, battery life for the M18 is four bars still. And the temperature of this is 93, 107. Some 107 somewhere. The same, 105 for most of the area, 105. All right, so I do not know what the time difference is, but they pretty much ran the same temperature, the battery life is obviously uh, drained by half on the M12 compared to the M18, but they I do not know what the time is until I edit the video. All right, so they both are very po powerful tools, and I love the Milwaukee M12 system because they have so many tools that are based on the M12 system, and so this is just one more very powerful impact wrench that is powered by a 12-volt battery, and Milwaukee also has a 6-amp-hour battery, 4-amp-hour battery, two versions of a three amp hour battery, a two amp hour battery, and a 1.5 amp hour battery. So they have a huge variety of tools and batteries to go along with those tools. So which one do you need is up to you, but in my opinion, I love the M12 one because it has the power it needs. And there you go. So if you found this video helpful and entertaining, please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos and please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.